Excuse me if I look like I'm about to go out. Um, I do look like that because I am actually about to go out. And uh, before I do that, I thought I should just make an update video on the Lucy Letby case. Um, because I didn't anticipate that my first video would um, get so many responses. I wasn't really... I, my intention in doing the video was actually to motivate myself to kind of get involved in any campaign that would assist um, Lucy Letby in getting the case um, brought back to the Court of Appeal. That was my main objective. Um, I wasn't looking to be popular, a celebrity. I wasn't looking to get the sort of backlash that I've got. I wasn't looking to get support for myself. It's about Lucy Letby and it's about this case. And, um, you know, and my intention also was to be objective. So it was going to also act as a diary for me to keep me grounded on this case because it, because it's bugged me so much. And I think it's important that as I come across new stuff relating to the case, that I, I bring it to my attention and I focus on it and I try to find answers to explain things. And if I can't explain things, then, you know, it's just going to leave things up in the air um, for me and it's going to create doubt for me. And whereas, you know, I, I mentioned in my previous video that I'd gone down to about 90% thinking she was innocent, whereas previously at 99%. Thinking she was in this, I'm down to 95%. I'm down to about 85% now. And the reason I've gone down to 85% is because I've seen some new um, information or I've, I've heard some new information. But it's not new, it's just new to me, okay? So let's get that straight. And the new information that I've come across is that apparently, and I don't know, all right, I'm going to explain. Apparently, while she was training, so she was being supervised in a neonatal ward in a completely different hospital, there was a high rate of tubes being dislodged amongst babies in incubators. That was an unusual anomaly while she was training. Now, this there's no proof that it relates to her, but apparently there was a suspicion then. This is when she was a trainee nurse. There was a suspicion then, apparently, that she was dislodging these tubes. Now, this sounds like a crock of, you know what, <laughs> to me. Because this thing is only, to me, it, it sounds like something that someone's made up at the last minute. And I'll tell you why I think someone's made this up at the last minute, or why it sounds like it's been made up at the last minute, is because, say you're working in McDonald's, and you were a trainee um, burger flipper, or whatever you want to call it. So you're working at McDonald's, you're flipping burgers, yeah? And there's a sudden outbreak of food poisoning whilst you're being trained to flip burgers. And every shift you do, there's food poisoning. But when you're not working, there's no food poisoning. Do you think that McDonald's is going to put you, get, get you, well, pass you for your training so that you are a fully fledged, um, unsupervised cook in their kitchens? Do you think they're going to do that? This is McDonald's, you know, we're talking about burgers. And even McDonald's wouldn't be so mad as to leave you poisoning their customers who are adults. And people are trying to convince me that consultants and, and whoever was training Lucy Letby were witnessing, or, or not witnessing, they were supervising her while she could possibly be pulling out tubes and they had a suspicion of it and they passed her for her training so that she could work unsupervised in another facility. It beggars belief. This could not have possibly happened. It sounds so unbelievable. It sounds so ridiculous that it could be true. <laughs> Is that ridiculous that it could be true? But to me, it's probably the most ridiculous thing I've heard in the whole case. It sounds completely made up, you know, because how, how, why would anybody allow... Why would anybody who cares about babies allow someone who they suspect of pulling tubes to pass their training? Surely you would do something. You'd put in, like, hidden cameras. You would have extra staff supervising and watching her. Just on the quiet. Just for the sake of these babies. What mad world do we live in?
that these people are trying to pretend that this was what was going on before she was a qualified nurse. This this is is preposterous. She should have don't they have a system where people fail their training? Do some people not fail their training? Does everyone have to go through their training and pass? What are we, what are we hearing here? Now, this is madness. This is madness. So I really want to hear some feedback from people because it does not make any sense to me. So anyone who has any experience in this or anyone who has any theories on this, please put your comments below because I want to hear what people think about this. Thank you.